Fuck you. Right, in this ra possibly rather disorientating shot, which, yeah, there's not really much I can do about it. We've got a piece of plexi with a hole drilled in it. We've got a head that we want to find the volume of. And we've got a big fuck off syringe. And we combine the lot, accurately measure the volume of this chamber. And it looks like I only just drilled that hole big enough. Right, that was 60 cc's. That was 70, 80, 90. But still not quite there. I have to find something heavy to weigh this down with now. Tip off. Right, we'll see how that goes. Well, we're going to leak somewhere. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say that that is about 120 cc's in the head. Roughly. Even though it's gently leaking out of that side. So we're going to go with rough guess 120 cc chambered in the head. Gently, gently. Shot. Well, winding me up about this is, I've got one of them little socket braces so I can just whiz these out. But it's at the workshop. Work. Taking your most power right before it explodes. The tricky part is to just find that balancing line.
That's going to be my least favourite bit. I'm getting a new rope seal for that. Mm. Because if I don't, it's guaranteed to leak. Because of course it is. Beyond that, that's looking pretty good. I uh, just have to do a cam bearing that's a bit chewed up. And all the others so far look fine. I know I should probably replace them all. Ooh, actually that doesn't look too good. I can't feel it, it's just staining. I'll move with that. We'll see what I can get. If I can get a set and get a tool to do it, um, then I'll do it. If not, we'll see how I get on. The cam looks absolutely spotless. I've wrapped it up under there so you can't see it. But yeah, not a mark on it. Crankshaft heavy, but as far as I can tell, absolutely spotless. So I think we've got a good in here. Yeah, nothing I can even feel on my finger now. So I think we're good there. So cam bearing, horn it, uh, new core plugs, a lot of cleaning, new rear main seal, paint, yeah. I think we're not doing too badly there, as far as I can tell. I do, however, have to find the correct oil pump because this is for the two wheel drive application. You can see the pickup in there inside that screen. Um, yeah. When I got it, had a two-wheel drive sump and oil pump. 
and the front diff disagrees with that. So I shall have to uh, track down a four wheel drive oil pump which has a front sump and go from there. And then, hopefully once all that's together, that should be the short block done. Get the head skinned, get the valves and guides sorted. And we should be golden. So that's on 23,000. So that's already on the wide end of spec. Okay. So they're going to be a little loose. I think she'll probably be fine. It's 23, but it's a tight 23. Tighter still. That is 20 thou down there. I'll just bust the glaze on that and, uh, and call it good, I think. That's not very nice at all. Get back in there. Yeah. Stay. To be right honest, I think these liners are on the edge of saleable just. Number four has got some scoring in it, like vertical scoring, which I'm not right happy with, but I'll revisit that, see if I can't get some more of that to come out. Uh, mostly cleaned up. Yeah, that's cleaned up okay. Kind of thing I can live with. I've got five years of fucking playtime out of it without, you know, before I need to uh, do the liners and rings, I think I've done quite well. And that's what it's all about, really. Very light vertical scoring, but uh, that one's cleaning up okay. Pressure rings, twelve to twenty-three thousand. And that is twenty-three thousand on the dot. So that's pretty good.
This will end up being um, yep, 23, 23, slightly looser end of 23. Twenty-three get tighter. Loser under 23. So, yeah, these are on the loose end of the spec. They're only going to get looser. I'm not worried about it. So, what I'm going to do there is try and clean up number four a bit better because that has some vertical gouges in it that are second so I, I can feel them with my thumbnail it's just catching not good uh, but to be honest until I can find a set of liners, that's probably as good as that's going to get. So, six new pistons, new rings. I've honed the liners. Uh, yeah, that's as good as that's going to get, I'm afraid. Until I can get some new liners in it. Um, I've seen various listings for liners online for these, mostly out of India, uh, but like a minimum order of 200. And I don't particularly want to get into a line of rebuilding these engines, to be quite honest, because uh, everything's big, stupid, and heavy. That said, yeah, the ring end gaps will be a little bit slack, but you know, uh, what's that? Perfect for turbo? Uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. We will see indeed.